close on the heels of the moon mission, a successful G20 event will certainly boost India's standing in the world. Meanwhile, another one of India's ambitions, which is becoming a part of the global semiconductor ecosystem, will get a fillip soon. In a few days from now, a relatively lesser known player in the Indian tech fraternity, Sahasra Electronics, will start testing and packaging these sophisticated chips at its plant in Rajasthan's Bhivadi district. So will it give the much needed boost to India's semiconductor ambitions? Aish Mishra finds out. Rajasthan-based Sahasra Semiconductor is set to start commercial production of India's first domestically manufactured memory chips slated to commence from September or early October. This milestone positions Sahasra as the pioneer in chip production in India ahead of Micron Technologies. Sahasra will initiate package memory cards like microSD, chip on board, etc., and later move on to advanced packaging of products like internal memory chips. Speaking to Business Standard, a company spokesperson said it realized that there was a significant gap in technology, knowledge, people, and everything. That's how it moved to semiconductor assembly and test. Sahasra Bivari plant is an outsourced semiconductor assembly and test facility which assembles and packages chips for other brands. The company will turn a semiconductor wafer packed with hundreds of chips into end devices that is deployed in different electronics products. According to a report by CounterPoint Research and the India Electronics and Semiconductor Association, India's semiconductor market is expected to touch $64 billion by 2026, almost three times its 2019 size of $22.7 billion. So where does India's chip making, chip packaging and the testing ecosystem stand? In overall semiconductor ecosystem, uh, there are two parts of the manufacturing. One is wafer manufacturing and second is basically packaging and testing. Uh, I think basically with a lot of uh, technical advances in packaging and basically uh, scaling not happening on the silicon side as per the Moore's law, the packaging in form of the chiplet and 2D and 3D integration has become very important aspect of our industry, especially in the manufacturing area. Uh, and typically, uh, uh, manufacturing at the ATMP level is less capital expensive as compared to a wafer fab. So uh, looking at all those factors, it is good that India is basically starting with the packaging and testing and then basically graduating to wafer manufacturing. The Indian semiconductor industry has witnessed significant developments recently. Micron has unveiled a massive $2.75 billion project, while Foxconn has decided to terminate its partnership with Vedanta. Singapore-based IGSS Ventures is gearing up to develop a cutting-edge technology park in Tamil Nadu, while Global Foundries is actively seeking a collaborator in India. Amidst these developments, Sahasra emerged as a standout success story. India's semiconductor ecosystem has predominantly revolved around chip packaging and testing, with limited involvement in chip fabrication. The country has been striving to bridge this gap through various initiatives, including the production-linked incentive scheme. The current government has been focusing on seeing how we can bring the semiconductor industry in India, because we are specifically talking here about semiconductors. They also created a, a production-linked incentive, not only for the semiconductor industry, but also for mobile manufacturing, for recently the PLI for IT, the hardware, the desktop, uh, laptop, tablets, all of them. In all these production and incentive, while when you produce, the government is going to give incentive. So you can imagine before this incentive schemes came, the situation was extremely bad in India related to there was no semiconductor manufacturing, testing, packaging, all of those things were not uh, happening here. The electronics industry's massive import bill prompted the government to push for a self-reliant ecosystem and encourage indigenous production. For the development of semiconductors and display manufacturing ecosystem in India, PLI outlay of 76,000 crore rupees was approved by the government. 
Sahastra Semiconductor's upcoming production facility represents the fruition of these initiatives. So does this mean Sahastra's chip can boost India's semicon ambitions? Every packaging uh, unit, packaging and testing unit will basically help in uh, component ecosystem in India, be it Micron, be it Sahasra, because the output of the packaging units directly go to the customers. Okay, unlike the wafer, which has to go through the packaging as its next step, using the chips out of this ATMP plants will certainly increase the value addition in the electronics manufacturing industry. Also, it will basically help in developing the component ecosystem. Analysts believe if the company can navigate the intricate maze of production challenges and maintain consistency, it could lay the roadmap for a semiconductor ecosystem in India. The journey towards chip fabrication is fraught with challenges, and the emergence of Sahasra as a semiconductor player is a noteworthy development. The next few years will determine if it holds the promise of strengthening India's semiconductor ambitions. Like the chips, metals too play a crucial role in the economy. The Nifty Metal Index hit a fresh record high on September 4th as investors cheered the stimulus rollout in China. Back home, India's solid growth story backed by CapEx push is keeping analysts bullish on the pack. However, as the global demand is yet to show green shoots, has the rally in metal stocks reached its peak? Nikita Vashisht explores in our next report. China has been stepping up efforts to boost its faltering economy from lowering the minimum